Facebook is looking to reinvent itself amid a flurry of controversies. The social media platform changing its corporate name to Meta and unveiling a demonstration video for the so-called Metaverse. It's planned to, quote, keep people at home using virtual reality. The changes come after a rocky few months for the company, facing a major trust deficit after a whistleblower's revelations about its impact on political division and the mental health of teenage girls. Abby, this whole concept is a bit confusing to me. They're <laughs> going to keep people at home, but yet the goal is, quote, connecting with people. I, I'm not sure how that works. It's kind of like social media, I guess, but they're yes. trying to take it a step <laughs> further. You know, it, it, it is very confusing, but I think what Mark Zuckerberg is coming to find is that it's really hard to manage the mental health of um, nearly 2.9 billion monthly active users that Facebook has. And so he's shifting the attention away from that. He says it's not due to recent controversies, but now um, the reality is, is that this is a perfect time for them to rebrand. My mind kind of goes back to McDonald's circa 2004. Remember when hmm. Super Size Me came out and everyone was like, oh my gosh, we can't eat at McDonald's. It's unhealthy. It's um, contributing to the obesity epidemic. And then McDonald's stepped forward and they said, okay, we're going to add healthy options. We're going to add wraps. We're going to add salads. We're going to implement McCaffrey that has herbal teas and then um, you know people started to look at McDonald's differently and I think that's what Mark Zuckerberg hopes to do with this new um, name change and then his his goal with this metaverse that he is is now revealing to us. Yeah, Senator Blumenthal who has been on this issue and so many others uh, he has a reason for the name change that he speculates will roll the tape. It will continue changing names emblems insignias logos it's all about the cosmetics for them because they want to continue that business model that makes them money emily all about the cosmetics yeah you guys remember earlier this year when serial killer rose west tried to change her name in prison she literally put in to change her name to jennifer jones and everyone in england was laughing they're like no no you still butchered nine girls we still know who you are we're just gonna call you jennifer but we know exactly what you've done and this to me is the same thing just like what the senator said it's lipstick on a pig you can try to change your name to whatever you want the bottom line is you are just expanding your attempts at controlling us at satiating us at soothing us collectively so that we don't see behind your insidious measures and to Abby's point I think this is another example where it's all about attention not connection so they keep using that word connection but it's a false connection it's not actually the meaningful connection that humans need to survive and to thrive literally to exist it is absolutely only about dopamine surges and for him sort of repairing what has been uh, absolutely demolished in the public eye in terms of his public perception and Harris distracting from a whole host of problems Problems. Just yesterday, we were talking about Instagram, who is owned by Facebook, curating yeah. content uh, for young women who have eating disorders that just incentivize the eating disorder. So why now? Yeah. Why now? Like, if, if these problems existed, and we know from the whistleblower who came from Facebook with a trove of receipts, why now? What was it about what we found out as the world that so disturbed Mark Zuckerberg that he wanted to try to shift not change, because I, I, I think that's what we're talking about here. It's like with Jennifer Jones. I mean, she'll always be a serial killer. But with him, he's a, his company is a serial abuser. Mm -hmm. Look at what we found out about entities that he's in charge of and their effects on young girls' self-esteem, the suicide rates and the negative thoughts that young boys and girls have about themselves. That, I agree, doesn't change by making it a different option now through meta mm -hmm. having a different option the baseline reason why people go to facebook will still be there and i would argue that with the algorithms that are seeking out young girls and their habits as we heard, learned from the whistleblower now we won't have an insider to tell us when it's really getting bad because mm -hmm. she's gone yeah, that's exactly right. And Sean, a whole host of controversies. I mean, uh, we talked about the teenage girls yesterday, Mexican drug cartels using their app, $5 billion fine for violating user privacy. You can see everything listed there. But to add to that, um, women in the Middle East being coerced uh, into sex trafficking, essentially, via Facebook, organ sales, pornography, mm -hmm. the list goes on and on. Throw in sense we know of conservative speech, but also Mark yeah. Zuckerberg, who funded $400 million to impact last year's election. A lot of that money going to Green Bay, Wisconsin, which impacted the outcome, I think, in the Wisconsin race.
race. Just to, to double, triple down on the point, Jeffrey Epstein or Ted Bundy, Bundy could change their name, and there's still Jeffrey Epstein, there's still Ted Bundy, there's still going to be Facebook, and I think America and politicians are still coming for them. The difference is that people weren't addicted to those serial killers. Mm. They're addicted to social media. That's Absolutely. true. Absolutely. And devastating and consequences, as we've seen. Mm -hmm. um, coming up, Halloween under attack.